the most underrated YouTuber of all time, number one dick rider of Sonic 06, aka the guy who should have just left YouTube a long time ago, back again with another video. And, you know, I was originally going to be a lot more positive for this video, but I'm just going to be hard and blunt here. Um, I, I, I made an alternate uh, kind of uh, cut to this video where I was uh, saying where I was being overall a lot more positive, but I'm not going to upload that. I'm going to upload this one because I feel like I, I, I feel like I have to get this shit off my chest, basically, because I've honest I've, I've honestly had enough with Turtle Rock. You know, I, I even I can't really defend them anymore with the stuff that they did. So, yeah, that's how I'm going to be for this video instead of just, you know, uploading the other the alternate part uh, of this video. So. I'm just going to get right into it. So there's a sequel uh, of Back for Blood in the works, uh, supposedly. I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, I'm, I'm just going to take their word for it. You know, take, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to take it with a grain of salt. But Back for Blood uh, ended support earlier this year in February. And I was looking back at one of the Reddit posts and I found this one comment and it just it 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 really put um it really took the words out of my mouth so i'm going to put it up on screen and pause it if you want to read it but see this is a perfect explanation of how you know see it's a perfect explanation because as much as i love back for blood even i can admit the game had some serious inexcusable issues for the game overall and gameplay wise and you know this this it's like it's like why not? It's like instead of working on another game already, because they did say that they are working on another game. What instead of working on another game already? Why not spend the time working on Back for Blood and making that game into an incredible game? I mean, twenty twenty two made Back for Blood into a actually decent game. The DLC was uh, pretty good, but still, I mean, you could have kept on updating it so that you know it would you know, the reputation of the game would be better to more people because they would come back to the game and say, hmm, I know I judged just upon release, but this is actually kind of decent now. You know, if you would have kept updating the game, it, it might have changed people's pers perspectives like that. But you ended support. Now, look at what the guy on screen said. He said they were able to completely turn around No Man's Sky, which is a good point. You know, because there are a lot of games that released badly that have been that have been, you know, saved over time. I can name two examples. You have uh, you have Battlefront, you have Star Wars Battlefront 2015 and Star Wars Battlefront 2. Those games were uh, kind of bad upon release. Not that they weren't fun, but because there it, it was only fun for a little bit because there weren't there wasn't that much content. But as you know, the DLC and all the updates started to come out. There was more content, and so you know it it, it. it it was more fun, you know. It kept people coming back, and the same thing could have happened with Back for Blood, you know. You but you ended the support instead of just keeping instead of just you know supporting the game. Like it's ridiculous, you know. And he also said this isn't the first time Total Rock abandoned a game and didn't commit to a game, which is also true because, as I said. As much as I love Back for Blood, I can't defend this shit. You know, I can't defend that. Like, you can't you can't keep abandoning your games like this. Like, update the damn game. Like, it, it, I know that they released three whole uh, DLC updates with uh, Back for Blood, but you still could have done more with it. There were still some things that needed uh, fixing. You were you still could have improved a lot more. You know, and it, it, you know, they said, they said Back for Blood was supposed to become this, this franchise. I'm going to put that up on screen. Also, they said Back for Blood was supposed to become this franchise. That's what Total Rock themselves said. So it doesn't really make sense for this new game that they're making to be an entirely new IP. It kind of makes sense for it to just be a Back for Blood 2, which I guess you can say, I guess you can say, oh, they, like, like, I guess, I, I guess you can say that, oh, they didn't say it was a sequel because they don't want to ruin the surprise or something like that. I guess you can say that, but still you get the point. So Todorok, I'm begging you 
for this new game that you're making, whether it's a new IP or a Back for Blood sequel. Please get your fucking shit together for this new game. Because this is your third time. Okay, this is your third time. Both of your games were bad upon release. Okay, they were bad upon upon release. Back for Blood, you know, to, uh, it wasn't it wasn't bad to me. I had fun with it, but you know, there were, you know, there were a couple problems that I had. Evolve, it was also kind of bad on release. Okay, so this is your third time. Okay, third time's a charm. This is your third time, Total Rock. You, you yourself said you're you're a pretty small studio making AAA games. Get more people on your team. Do a more do a more small scale game. Do a more simplistic small scale game. You know, if if it's too much, if it's if it's too much people, you know, or if it's if it's too little people for a, a studio making AAA games, you know, do something more small scale. Do something like p- please just deliver a good game. That's all I want. Just deliver a good game. Learn from the mistakes that you made with Back for Blood. Okay? If you're if, if this new game that you're doing is is going to follow the same spiritual successor to Left 4 Dead type of thing, which it it better not be because if if you're going to do that, you better you, you you better hope that you actually you actually follow through on that. But yeah, um if you're going to do, you know, this whole spiritual successor to Left 4 Dead thing again, just, just, just fucking look at Left 4 Dead and what made that game so great, and and learn from that. Because, like I said, a lot of the shit that Back for Blood did compared to Left 4 Dead was completely unexcusable. Like, not having musical cues for for Special Infected in Back for Blood, like that was unexcusable. Like, why would you not have that? What what was the what was the point of not having that Total Rock? Like, come on now. See, that's 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 another thing that about this game that's inexcusable. But that's another video for for another day. I'm not gonna get into that. But yeah, in conclusion, Total Rock, whatever game it is you're working on, please just deliver a good game and learn from the mistakes that you made with Back for Blood and actually listen to the community. Okay, learn from the mistakes that you made from this. Learn from this, please. Now, you said that we promised that we'll be back bigger, bolder, and better than ever. Todorok, you better not be lying about that. 